My name is Dezabi, and welcome to Dezabi Productions. In this channel, I do music production tutorials using Pro Tools and Ableton, as well as review and demo music production equipment. Now, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to record retro instruments using Pro Tools, as well as set up the metronome and how to set the tempo of the session. Without further ado, let's get to it. Alright guys, so here we have our session, and before we get started into the instrument track, I want to show you how to create a metronome and how to change the tempo of the session. So let's get started with the metronome. To create a metronome, we're going to go to the top menu and select track. Go all the way down to the bottom and select create click track. And this here is our metronome. I'm going to turn it down, and I'm going to play it back to make sure we can hear it. Okay. If you can't hear it, on the right side under your count off section, the second to left icon is your metronome. If this is not activated, you will not be able to hear the metronome even if your track is unmuted. So make sure that this is activated. Now to change the tempo of the session, go to the top menu at event and go to the second choice tempo operations and select tempo operations window. Now in this window, for us to change the entire session, we're going to start and end at 1-1. One, one. I'm going to change my tempo to 110. Enter, apply. Now our entire session is 110 BPM. Now let's create the instrument track. At the top menu once again, go to track, select new, and here's gonna ask us how many we wanna create. I'm gonna create one. Is it mono or stereo? Um, if you select mono and you end up using the plugin that's a stereo, do not worry, Pro Tools will automatically change that track into a stereo track. The type of track we're gonna make is not an audio, not a MIDI, an instrument track. In ticks, and I'm going to name my track Synth. Oh, that's not how you spell Synth. Synth. Okay, create. Now let's add a virtual instrument to this. In the insert section for Synth, click the slot, go to plugin, and go down to instrument, and I'm going to select massive. I'm just going to select the random sound nothing too crazy and in order for us to listen to what we're going to play we have to have record enable activated so in the synth track on the left side let's click the record enable button that's the little red button now it's flashing which means that we can now listen to what we're about to play and i'm going to turn it down it might get a little loud and let's go ahead and play something okay before we start recording on the count off section here so when this is activated, Pro Tools will count off a certain amount of bars before you start recording so that you can come in on time. So I'm going to leave mine on. If you want to turn it off, you can turn it off. I highly recommend leaving it on. And if you want to change the amount of bars that it counts off, double click on the part where it says two bars. At the bottom here, you can change it to your preference. I personally like two, so I'm going to leave it at two. So let's go ahead and record something. Let's hit record, play. That's one. Okay, so now what we've created is a MIDI clip. To edit this MIDI clip, we're going to double click it. And now we bring up the MIDI editor. In this window, we can edit the MIDI notes and we can extend them, shorten them, and change the velocity as well. So when it comes to the velocity, Let's say the higher the velocity, the darker the note will be. The lower the velocity, the lighter the note will be. Now, if you want to change the spacing of the grid, we're up here on the top next to grid on the drop down menu next to the numbers here. Click the little arrow, and here you're going to be able to change it to quarter notes, half notes, eighth notes, and so on and so forth, so you have more control over your edits. Okay? I'm going to just edit something here real quick. I just. That way it doesn't sound too terrible. I mean, it wasn't too bad, but I know it's not going to sound on time. We don't want it to sound too robotic either. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this. So I'm going to highlight this. And I'm going to duplicate it. Duplicate. Duplicate. And I'm going to close my MIDI editor window. All right, so that's how we record virtual instruments using Pro Tools. But the issue here, though, is that as we keep adding tracks and as we keep adding MIDI information, the computer is going to start to overwork, and we don't want to do that. 
So in order for us to avoid that, what we need to do is once we have our tracks laid out the way we want them, we need to record the audio from the instrument track into a separate audio track. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. It's not as complicated as it sounds. Just follow along and rewind this as many times as needed. So let's get started. To begin with, we're going to go to the top at track and we're going to select new. And we're going to create one. And since the instrument track is a stereo, we need to create a stereo audio track to match it. And we're going to change this to synth A for audio. Create. The goal here is to route the instrument track audio into the synth audio track. To do that, we're going to go into the synth for the synth instrument track, and we're going to click on the slot, and we're going to go to bus. We're going to select bus 1 and 2 stereo because it is a stereo track, and select it. Turn up the volume. And what we need to do now is have this one receive that information. So in the input of the synth audio track, we're going to go to bus 1 and 2, Buses are pathways for audio to travel through, to send and receive. So now that we have it routed to the synth audio track, we're going to deselect the record enable for the synth instrument track because we're not going to record anything because we already have what we need. And we're going to record enable the synth audio track. And let's go ahead and mute the metronome. And we're going to go record and play. <laughs> Now, you always want to go and finish your clip, but for the sake of time saving here, I'm going to just cut it short. And what we're going to do now is we can right click here on the synth instrument track and make inactive. So now the computer is not overworking trying to read and play this information, but rather it's playing the audio from the synth audio track. So let's take off the record enable and play that back. <laughs> Okay, one thing to remember is that before you record, you have to make sure that your MIDI information is the way that you want it because once you record it, it's like baking a cake. You can't take apart the ingredients a piece by piece because it's all one cohesive piece now. And that is how you record the audio from the instrument track into an audio track to save your computer from overworking. Well, that concludes this video. If you have any questions or comments, please do leave it in the comments section and I will get to them as quickly as possible. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, subscribing, liking, and commenting helps us reach many more who want to learn about music production. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.